to this video as well as audio compact discs, and they are an innovator in many ways in the electronics field. They've got something very unique to show us here at the CES show today. What you're looking at is something that we've been waiting for for a long, long time. A combination player that pl plays both your laser video disc as well as your small CD compact audio disc. Again, this is made from Pioneer. A very, very huge machine physically. Has all your little features down there telling you what's going on. Uh, as I said, this plays both a video laser disc that you can rent in your local video store, as well as your small four inch compact disc that uh, is becoming the new wave of audio sound. What you're looking at now is part of the guts of this combination laser vision CD player. Looks pretty complex, and I'm sure it is, because each of these different discs takes a different size hub, in other words, a center hole. So they had to make a mechanism that can actually flip up the proper hub at the proper time to hold the proper disc. All right, hi, I'm Art Volo here with Ray Glasser at the Consumer Electronics Show, 1985 in January. A lot of new exciting things here at the CES, the winter show. Good thing we're not in Chicago. That's right. That's I picked right. up WLS in Chicago here last night in Las Vegas. Temperature back home? Five degrees. Five degrees. So we're here in Las Vegas, and it's terrific. We're at the NEC booth, and uh, tell us some of the new exciting things. We're with uh, John. Now, how do you say that? I don't want to butcher that uh, name. Lostrosio. Lostrosio. Is it Italian? Yes, it is. I should know. Half Italian and half Italian. All right. Well, yeah, I, I right. hear you. Listen, what's new from NEC in a nutshell? Well, what we're doing here is we're introducing 12 new products, a couple of uh, new projection televisions, a 37-inch rear projection, a 46-inch rear projection. Uh, we are now the only major manufacturer currently manufacturing and marketing beta and VHS under our own name and we have instead of Sears or somebody that's else. right that's right and we are manufacturing both you are? Uh, yes um, we have two separate factories a beta and a VHS factory uh, we have introduced a new beta hi-fi machine as well as another beta hi-fi machine uh, the uh, model N65 which includes the new super beta technology Okay, now we uh, were looking at Super Beta earlier at the uh, Sony display, and we saw what they had to say about it. What is your opinion of Super Beta, and what do you think it's going to do to the marketplace, especially for the format, which, let's face it, has had some tough times? Well, I think what we have to look at here is we still have to address uh, the, the knowledge of the salesman on the retail floor. I still <laughs> believe he still makes the buying decision, and I still think it's up to him to uh, tell the consumer what's available and uh, give the consumer the choice. As, my, as far as I'm concerned, Super Beta is a fantastic product. Uh, we're getting now a uh, resolution of in, greater, in excess of 300 lines, which uh, when you look at previous technologies, you were lucky to get 240, 250 lines of resolution. So you are looking at uh, a significantly better picture, and Super Beta tapes are also compatible with uh, non-Super Beta machines. That's what we had first heard that they were not, and then we heard the good news was that they are. Yes, so they this are. is very exciting for those of us especially who are uh, proponents of the Beta uh, format, right. and uh, NEC has, uh, has done a lot uh, for that. Uh, All right, we're at one of the uh, newer units. Uh, Want to fill us in? Yeah, this is our, our new Beta Hi-5 VCR. This is the model VCN70EU. Uh, this is an improved version of our VC739 which uh, recently won uh, Video Magazine's uh, uh, award for the best Beta Hi-Fi of the year. So what we've done is we improved it a little bit. Inside the machine, we've taken and, and moved the video preamp circuit right into the head drum. So we eliminate any line loss that may occur, which uh, previously we looked at a, a connecting cable of almost one foot. So we've now eliminated that. So picture quality has improved over the previous model. And it is stereo capable meaning it can accept our SA84 stereo television adapter mm -hmm. to decode the stereo and separate audio program broadcasts. So with this unit you could record a stereo program when transmitted, when te stereo television becomes in vogue, and That's you can right. record it right off the air on this unit? That's correct, and as a matter of fact, in a, in a couple of days we do have a, a station in Las Vegas that will be stereo TV. Uh, broadcasting. So that's kind of exciting. Too bad they couldn't have been doing it for the show. Yeah, I think they're about two days off. I saw it on television uh, in my room a couple of days ago. Briefly, this is a four-head video recorder, so your special effects are very clear in uh, in any speed, beta 2 beta or beta two, 3. Okay, because I can't stand it when they make it only in beta 3, it forces people to use what we consider to be the less weaker of the speed, less that's quality right. speed. We do have slow motion, and we do have a very good uh, field effect stop action, which is very clear, and we also have two times normal play. 
And the neat feature about that is if the uh, tape that you had is recorded in beta hi-fi, the audio portion of that in two times play will be discernible. It won't be uh, uh, a Mickey Mouse type. It will be uh, at proper pitch. Let me ask you this. If you took a beta 1 tape and played it in your machine, would it play? No, it would not. It is not uh, beta, beta 1 compatible. Okay. We don't feel that's really a viable product anymore. Okay. okay. Well, we have what about, yeah, unique, a, a, what is We have some unique uh, user uh, benefits of the machine, one of them being an optimum tracking meter. By switching here, you see we have a level control. And uh, what I'll do here is I'll screw up the tracking for you. And if you look, you can see how the level is going down. And if you were to look up at the picture, you see we're losing our tracking here. By adjusting this for optimum performance, you get a visual uh, level of when you're getting your best or optimum tracking. So this thing is set correctly when this is lit up all the way across and we have a couple of red LEDs on the end. That's right. The most light you can get on, that, that assures you that you're getting the, you know, your best quality tracking. And it also works in slow motion, too. So in other words, instead of just sitting there playing with it and guessing whether it's right, right. the meter tells you exactly. That's correct. That's correct. Uh, so uh, that's one feature we're quite excited about. Uh, as far as uh, other features on the machine, it is a full deluxe machine. Uh, eight event timer over 21 days. Uh, a cable capable tuner of up to 134 stations including hyperband, superband and midband frequencies and the ability to accept uh, HRC cable which is what's known as harmonically related carrier which can give some people problems if you don't have the uh, the ability to receive this cable frequency. Well, that is fascinating. It sounds like NEC is keeping right up with the technology of all the others and uh, John I want to thank you. Thank My you. love back to Chicago and thanks from the Consumer Electronics thank Show. You. All right, here we are at the NEC booth still with, of course, the big new exciting news at the Winter CES Super Beta. Now, we saw that over at the Sony booth, and we're still here with John. And, John, give us a little uh, uh, skinny on what the – this is a very exciting product, and I know you're enthusiastic about it. Fill us in. The microphone is yours. What Thank you. Want? Thank you. What we're looking at here is a new technology where what, we, what we've done – uh, quite basically is we've taken the luminance frequencies, which is your basic video frequencies, and we've extended them. We moved them up 800 kilohertz. What this allows you to do is the higher video frequency response you have, the better overall resolution you're going to have. So what we've done is we've taken resolution previously in the area of 240 to 250 lines, and we've increased it to well over 300 lines of resolution, which is about a 20-25% increase in picture quality. Uh, so we feel this is a significant advancement. We've taken half inch and really moved it up into the uh, uh, into the uh, the uh, three quarter inch format in terms of picture quality. This particular machine here also has beta hi-fi audio. So again, you're getting the best of both worlds: the best in video and the best in audio in terms of uh, consumer home electronics products. Uh, we will also come out with a more advanced version later in the year, which will be a forehead super deluxe machine. Both machines will also be stereo uh, capable, in other words, receiving the stereo broadcasts. I really think that Super Beta is really going to give another shot in the arm to Beta. Again, we talked about it earlier. Uh, it's still up to the salesman on the floor to educate the customer and let him know that this is available. So true. Because, uh, quite frankly, if he's not, he's not being a professional salesman and he's not doing the customer a service. Don't, don't, don't you find very quickly, don't you find that is a, sometimes a big a big weakness in, in the sales of video stuff? You walk into the store, you're at the mercy of how much that guy knows. Sometimes you might know more by reading the video p p periodicals and magazines than the guy in the, in the store. Well, yes, I, I feel that's uh, very true because uh, I think that too many uh, times the salesman's opinions uh, will dictate uh, the mm -hmm. sale, and that's not always the, the right way to go. I think in video products... Everybody, everybody smile, you're a star. <laughs> you're, not, you're not smiling, okay.
probably should use the 750 here tonight. Let's go to the next turn. Cleveland, Ohio, of course, and this is Mr. Vincent Garfalo, Garfalo from, from Matrix Software. Of Matrix, of Matrix Software. Yeah. How do you do? Okay. Um, and of course, we're standing in front of the new uh, Atari 130XE personal computer. Um, and of course, I have not read any of the literature on this thing yet, so okay. I, re I really don't have a whole lot of information okay. about this. Okay, I'll fill you in. Okay. The um, 130XC is a 128K uh, 6502 processor. It's 128K uh -huh. 6502, 6502 processor. Just like the Atari 800XL. Just like the 800XL. It has twice the memory. It has twice the memory. Okay. okay. And the 65XC, which is the one thing right next to it, okay, it's about... Well, uh, exactly the same. Okay, the 65XE, which is basically it's exactly the same, but it has it's less 64K, 64K okay. built in. Equivalent to the Atari 800XL. Okay, it programs, you know, ran, if it ran on the 800XL, it's going to run on the uh, 65XE or on the 130XE for that matter. Okay, so anything that ran on the 800XL or the 0800 basically yeah. will run on the 65XE uh, and the 130XE. Okay, uh, can you give me the uh, retail price of the 65XE? You don't know that. Okay, the wrong person to talk to. Yeah. I'll get that from somebody else. Okay, the uh, uh, this has 128k. That's right. Bank switch. Yeah. Bank switch built-in memory. Right. Okay. Uh, can you give me some of the other features of this okay. new computer? Um, basically, it's just that the Atari 800 XL, but it will work, for instance, with the 80 column monitor that we've got out there. It'll work with the 80 column monitor. Okay. It's, um, it also we've got some uh, Atari peripherals out there, like the new modem for about a hundred dollars, three hundred baud, auto answer, auto dial. Okay. Um, and of course, Infinity is, runs on the 65 XE and the 130 XE and the old Atari 800 uh, and 800 XL and the new 130 ST. So you've got a whole new sort of um, uh, application software standard that can run on all the Atari uh, computers. That's going to be distributed by Atari. Uh, and it's going to be available all the Atari software distributors. And it's going to be fifty dollars for word processing, spreadsheet, database management, telecommunications, graphics, spelling checker, windowing. You can do four windows on the 8-bit machine. All right, so you're talking about each individual one of those bits of software would be fifty dollars each. No, the entire the, package. The entire the, package. The entire will package. Be fifty dollars. Everything I've just talked about, and we'll talk, it'll be fifty dollars, the entire package, right? Okay. And keep in mind, all this is going to be available April first. Okay? okay. With when the new machines are out on the shelf, we're going to be there, sitting right next to them. Okay. okay? Um, there's four windows. That means, like for instance, here you've got three windows right here. Oh, there's three windows. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but it can do four all together. Now, um, is this a standard monitor, home TV, or yeah. just? Yeah, this is standard monitor. Okay. Um, now the. The 130 XE will work on uh, on an 80 column monitor, and so will the 65 XE. And so will the 65. Yeah. And what? Also, and also, that particular model will also work with the old 800 and 800 XL as well. Okay, what is required to be able to operate on that monitor to get 80 uh, 80 um, characters? You're going to need software like Infinity, which is made for it. Okay. Yeah. Right. Similarly, to use the 128K, you're also going to need something like Infinity, which is made to utilize the extra power of the new machine. I see. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, now, with something like Infinity, you can do Mac style graphics, okay, now you can do things like on the screen, bold face, italics, subscript, superscript, um, user definable fonts of different sizes and different styles, um, the spreadsheet is Lotus 123 compatible, it even does keyboard macros, the uh, database is relational and it has a report generator as well, the telecommunications package supports all of the new Atari peripherals, um, they can do about 20 to 25 different kinds of terminal emulation, like a don't deck. Walk, don't walk so far away. You're okay. talking to me. Okay, a deck, okay. a deck BT100, um, uh, some of the IBM stuff, uh, okay. some of the Prime stuff, um, and also it supports up to 19,200 baud. Okay, so it's it's a really really powerful package. Of course, it has the usual upload and download. You know everything that you find in a real top-notch um, telecommunications package. Um, the um, graphics can do everything from an XY chart, uh, bar chart, um, to a stock high and low chart. Spelling checker, also included with the program, the basic $50 price, uh, is a 35,000 word spelling dictionary. It can be upgradable to 50,000 words. Um, 
And as I said, it can do four windows at one time. And uh, also, it can uh, do more than one task at one time. For instance, on the 65XC, okay, which is the 64K computer, right. it can do four windows. Uh, say you can have in one window, you can have uh, the word processor and one the spreadsheet, one the database manager, and one the uh, telecommunications. And in the, say you're working in the spreadsheet window, at the same time as you're working in it, in the uh, word processing uh, window, you can be checking the spelling in a file at the same exact time. On the 130 XC model, that's this one right here that we're looking at, um, you can do two things at the same time as the main task. With four windows up, with instead four of windows, you can do you can do two things at the same time right. while while a third one is doing something else. Right, right. Oh, uh, incredible. Like for instance, you could do uh, you could check the spelling in one window. You could uh, do a big recalc and a big iCalc worksheet in another window, and be in the communications package talking to Dow Jones, you know, or CompuServe or something like that. Okay. Um, and uh, I have a question. Okay. Uh, let me just enter. What about interfaces for printers? Um, um, are we still going to be required to use something an like an 850? Uh, no. Will, will, no. That, will that be built into the new machines? Yeah. yeah. Uh, an I interface, believe so. you believe? I, oh. I believe so. Okay. Again, you can confirm that with the Atari people. But or perhaps it's right in the literature yet, which I haven't had a chance to read yet. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, with Infinity supports the entire line of Atari peripherals and includes all the printers. And also third-party peripherals like Epson, Yuki, uh, Okidata, uh, IDS Prism, etc. And also, um, this printer driver utility that you can use to set up, you know, if you have uh, a printer that's not supported by um, one of the drivers now, we include. Is all this going to be produced by Mac Matrix software? Um, it will be produced, it will be actually manufactured for Atari computers by Atari Corporation and marketed by them through their entire worldwide Atari, Atari dealership. I see. Okay. Okay. We developed all the software um, and basically they're doing it under a license from us. Uh, of course, we're going to do all the customer service ourselves. You deal directly with us. Okay. And, you know, we can help you set up printers, etc. All right. Now we know that a lot of the software that, ex like you said, that exists for the 800 or the XE will operate on the the, 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 uh, the 130, 130 XE or the 65 XE. Right. Uh, what about the reverse? Uh, uh, is there will some of that okay. work on the existing Most of it won't. system? Uh, Most of it. Infinity. Will well the 65 XC that software will work on like the 800 XL, okay, in that way. But this the 130 XC no, it won't go backwards. Okay. But Infinity well, no, because this is so much more right. The yeah. program uses so much more memory yeah. that there's no way they yeah. could be used. Yeah. However, store. just so that you know the old Atari 800 and 800 XL users aren't left out in the cold, Infinity is also available for those computers as well. And for the 800 XL, you can do every single thing that you can do with the 65 XC version. Okay. Now again. To Infinity is that program, or this yeah, that we're seeing right here on the screen. That we're seeing right on the screen that will do a variety of different functions. Yeah. Like you said, it has a spreadsheet. Yeah, the spreadsheet, the word processor, the database, the telecommunications, uh, the graphics, um, the spelling checker, all of the windowing. You know, all of that is in that package. And that's for fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Incredible. That's incredible it's just, advancement. I mean, it's just part of the excitement that's here in this booth. You know, oh, the, it's yeah. fabulous. Yeah. I mean, it, I don't know, you guys probably weren't here on Saturday, okay? No, but, we were not. All right. What happened was the booth opened at noon, and there were literally 20 deep, okay, 20 deep in all directions, including this direction right here, through that door, into the other booth, okay? People waiting to get in. Uh, if you guys stick around, uh, on, those, on those monitors over there, um, what they're going to do is they're going to put Infinity up on all the monitors, they're going to put Atari Rider up on all the monitors, it's going to be mobbed, and then we're going to be mobbed because they're going to come and ask us more questions. Can you tell us, you know, when, how soon they'll be doing that? They so usually can... do it on the hour. Um, actually, they're a little late they're right little now, late. but um, they will probably start revving up real soon. Um, guys are probably going to get together. And it's a really gorgeous display. I mean, you get to see the italics and all that stuff up on the big screen. What they do is they walk you through a sample application. They say, look, how can you use this, this fabulous piece of software and these, and these new pieces of hardware? Sure. They say, you know, they just go through the whole thing. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the uh, the Yuppie Chow ads that Apple does. Uh, they no. did it in Newsweek, and they, 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 they show how you can do baby food, stuff like that. You know, baby, baby food jars and things like that. Okay. Yeah, we do the exact same thing, about a tenth the cost, one tenth. And we do it better, because they don't have the spreadsheet, they don't have the database, they don't have the telecommunications, and they don't have the spelling checker. And we do it better. And they can't do the multiple windows, okay? Sure. So I think, the products that are here, the Atari products are fabulous. You're going to see the 130ST, they're really beautiful. 
and with Infinity running on all of them, you know, so, so you can move from one machine to the other and still keep the same sort of applications program. In regards to the ST system, mm -hmm. I know that that's different from the XE. That, it is. that uses a different microprocessor. But still, there's a version of Infinity available just for it. Which oh, will, okay. Which will work on that, and you, you know how to use it. So here. in other words, though, if you if you had an Affinity system for the XE system, mm -hmm. you'd have to buy a separate one if separate you bought for the one. ST. But as long as you knew how to use it, you can use it on that one. And the capabilities of that machine, for instance, Infinity allows you to do 80 by 50 lines, by 80 columns by 50 lines on that screen. Um, do six windows instead of four. You're not satisfied with just doing three things at once. You can do six at once. Okay. Much more advanced than I'm capable of. That's so, fabulous. So, oh, so, and the price on that one's going to be a little higher, $89.95. All for the software. Yeah. Right. And, I'm, and I found out the other day that the, um, the uh, what's the number of that other system, computer? The uh, 130 ST. The 130 ST is, is going to uh, list for about $600. Or retail rather. About 399 is what I've heard. Oh, you've heard 399 Well, that means that even these are going to be much, much I've less. I've heard in the $150 range for this one, about 100 for the 65 XC staying next to me. Oh. I was basically, I've heard Jack Tremel speak, um, and I've spoken to him several times, and um, that's the kind of price range he's shooting for. I mean, what he's trying to do is he's trying to, and what we're trying to do too with a $50 price range is, oh, it's just... you know, we're trying to put this software into the hands of users. You know, sure. and we still make a profit. We make a reasonable profit. Okay, we're in business, and we're going to be here for a long time. So we support you guys. Sure. And you buy our software, and we can employ our people to come out with new, nice, interesting things. And so can Atari. But now you guys can afford our stuff. Right. Okay. Right. You don't have to spend eight hundred dollars, or you know, on some cheap computer. You can get a great computer for four hundred. You know, a really good computer for two hundred. You don't have to spend five hundred bucks or six or seven for Symphony. Fifty bucks is something better than Symphony. Yeah. Can, do you have any uh, knowledge yourself of, of add-on capability? Uh, well, they have a whole line of peripherals all over there. They've okay. got, um, like, I think three or four different kinds of printers. Uh, they've got this great music synthesizer in the 130 ST demo room. Uh, they have the stuff they have built into the 130 ST. They've got a music port, uh, a MIDI standard interface, which means you can hook it up to, like, the Casio pianos, the, the synthesizers. Mm -hmm. They've got a hard disk uh, controller built in. They've got the floppy disk controller built in. They've got all the graphic stuff built in. They've got RS-232 built in. They got the printer built in. It's all about 399 sort of range, all right? Um, they've got a mouse, okay? They got a joystick port. They got um, they've got the whole operating system in ROM built in. Okay, 192,000 bytes of ROM plus 128,000 bytes of RAM, okay? They have their processors running twice the speed of the Mac is. Twice. 8 megahertz versus 4 megahertz. Um, the, um, the ROM in that machine is 192K versus 64K in the Mac. Okay? It's just, and when you consider it, the price of that machine is about what? About a quarter? A quarter of the Mac? A, you know, whatever. It's, like, it's incredible. Okay? And the fact that you can get software like this, about $50. You try to get multi-plan for the Mac, 150, and it, it's actually stripped down multi-plan. You know, if you've used it on the PC, you're going to find you're missing a lot of functions. And iCal can easily outdistance multi-plan, but we give you everything else at 50 bucks for a third of the price. Yeah. Remark. And this man right here is Sig Hartman from Atari. You know, we, he says 50 bucks. We don't know yet what that number is, but it's definitely going to be below 100. And most likely, if we can, for this machine, probably around the $50 price. I see. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I know yeah. Jack said that. Yeah. This is now, Mr. Uh, Sid Hartman from the Atari Corporation. Uh, yes. I think what he has is really unique. Uh, I don't know how they ever created it. And in my view, uh, his company is going to be another... Uh, uh, another what, uh, what is it? Lotus. A uh, Lotus, okay. right? Yeah. Another Lotus. Lotus. It's a small company, another Lotus it. company, mm -hmm. except a new generation, and he's creating a new generation of software for us, really. And we're going to be partners for many, many years to come. Long time. Long time. Long time. Right? Right. That's right. Now, not only that, would you believe we signed a contract at midnight? midnight. At midnight, we signed a contract. You've ever seen. No, no, we. Look at him. Isn't he happy? Right. He's happy. He's smiling. And, and let me tell you, that's nice when you have partners yeah. like this. Yeah. And we I'm very turned on. I think everybody who saw the product, super impressed. But more important, it's the availability. 
we will have this product oh, available. I'm, I am so impressed. As an yeah. 800 owner, I'm ready to yeah, trade it's, up. It's very, very good. Up to, now, to who the, are you with? I'm representing a users group in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, uh, let me tell you. You know how I like users group. How, tell tell, tell you? our users group uh, how you uh, like users group. Let me just group. tell you. I hope I will get an opportunity to get together with all the users group in the USA. I have much of an interest because the feedback is really critical for us if we want to succeed. And the users group typically knows what's happening, the strength, the weaknesses of our hardware, software, and it's very critical that we do get that feedback and I plan to get together with you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. It's been a pleasure. Boy, you're you. doing great. Yeah, right? he's doing fabulous. Well, and also, that goes double for Matrix. We love users group. I mean, basically what we're trying to do is getting some people lined up to do some beta testing for us. Mm -hmm. We'd like to send some demo discs out to you guys. Oh, be fabulous. Some literature. Yeah, sure. And you know, if we, we travel around the country a lot and we get we have access to the new machines. I mean, we can come down and show you something. We show some, some Infinity running on a new machine. Come down and talk to you guys. We'd Cleveland love it. Would, uh, from We'd Cleveland, love to come We would down. love to have love some. To sure. Yeah. Well, that's, I think that's about all we have for today, unless we also get the demonstration in on the screens here, yeah. which I'm really yeah. anxious to see. Yeah, that would be nice. So um, we'll cut it now from the Atari booth at the, the, the Consumer Electronics Show.